anyone working on a Windows computer knows you can launch as many copies of Synthize as you want. This is often useful because you may want to review the settings of another scene file without closing the scene you're currently working on. Just load the scene in another instance of Synthize and have at it. However, running multiple instances of Synthize on a Mac is another matter entirely. That's not so easy, but you can do it. It just takes a little setting up. The first thing I'm going to do to set up running more than one copy of Synthize on this Mac is I'm going to go down to the dock and I'm just going to launch Synthize like we normally would. Cool, there's Synthize. Let's look at what's running here. So there's that one copy of Synthize. If I go back to Finder here and I click on this again, click, oh, it just switches focus back to this copy of Synthize. And there's still only one version of Synthize running. So now what? I'm going to open a terminal. All right, so how do we launch Synthize from a terminal? Let's type open and let's just drag this here so I don't have to type anything. Enter. Well, that didn't work. That just switches back to Synthize again. So that, that's not the way to do that. Let's do man for manual, open. All right, so here's the manual for open. What do we have here? We have open, open files and directories, synopsis, open, and then there are a bunch of options here. Uh, dash A, application, dash B, bundle identifier. Let's go down the list and see what we got here. Ah, there it is, right there. Dash N or minus N, however you want to say it. I'm not the boss of you. Open a new instance of the application, even if one is already running. That sounds like that's what we need. All right, I'm gonna hit the Q key to quit that. I'm gonna hit Control L to clear out the space a little bit. I'm going to go up arrow and I'm gonna go all the way over here and I'm just gonna type minus N, enter. <gasps> Did it work? Oh, look, I have two copies of Synthize. That's pretty cool. Let's close this version. We don't want to run a whole bunch of versions as we go through this. All right, so maybe we don't want to launch another version of Synthize through Terminal every time we want to do this. There's got to be an easier way. Well, I'll show you one. There's a little app that is shipped with Mac computers forever. It's called Automator. With Automator, you can make an app that you can just click on and it'll execute things and do whatever you want. Let's go File, New, Application. So we're gonna double click that. And now we're gonna make an application in Automator. So on this list, look at all these things you can do, like all kinds of stuff, calendar related things, contact related things, developer related things, things to do with files and folders and mail and movies, et cetera, et cetera. But what we really want to do is just go to the whole library and we're just going to type run to search for run shell script. I'm just going to drag that over here. Hey, look, here's a shell script. Let's get rid of cat. We don't need cat. Go back to terminal and we can just copy this whole line here. Copy and paste and then save this. And then you should just be able to double click on it. I've already made this app, so let's close this. Don't want to save that. I'm just going to hit delete. But I am going to hit file open, and I've got my little second Synthize app. And you'll see here my second Synthize app has its own icon with the number two that I made, whatever. Uh, so I'm going to double click on that, and you'll see there's the app, run shell script, and it's just got this one command in it. That's what the app does. So let's get rid of Automator. We don't need that anymore. And we don't need Terminal anymore, so I'm just gonna close that Terminal window. Let's go back to Finder, and you can see I've dragged this second Synthize app right into my Synthize folder. So now all I have to do is double click on that. <gasps> Look at that, there's another Synthize. Here, let's click it again. Oh, another Synthize. One more time. Yeah, okay. So running two copies of Synthize on a Mac is actually pretty easy, but I do not recommend it. 
That's why I have that second automator app that I have to go hunting for just to inconvenience myself whenever I might get the urge. All those instances of synthize will need RAM and consume system resources. So maybe don't go crazy with this newfound power. 